Hey, now, I happen to be on Twitter again. I'm either on Twitter or YouTube seeing something. And this time, it was about the ZEV mandate in the UK. So that's the Zero Emissions Vehicle Mandate. Um, and I think, let me just look on the tablet a minute and I'll tell you who actually uh, posted it. If this will come up on my tablet. Come on, tablet's a bit slow. But, um, so I was looking at Twitter and I think it was Colin Walker and he said that MPs have just voted and passed the ZEV mandate into law. So it's passed now, it's done and dusted. It is going to come into law. And it was 381 eyes to 37 no's. <laughs> and uh, it looks like a lot of people didn't turn up to vote on it. So there we go. Um, and that comes into force on the 1st of January 2024. So that's less than four weeks away. So next year, what it means is that next year now, the car manufacturers have got to sell 22% of their uh, cars have got to be zero emission vehicles. Um, so that's that means that that uh, all the cars they sell in 2024, 22% of them must be zero emission vehicles. And if they don't sell them, there's a fine. So I think I have got some more information here. Let's have a look if I can find it. Uh, so it starts on the 1st of January 2024, and that's 22% uh, of all cars sold per manufacturer. And then by 2026, that number rises to 33%. And then by 2028, that number rises to 52%. And then by 2030, that number will rise to 80%. So it's like nearly all your cars sold in 2030 has got to be 80% zero emissions vehicle. Now, if you go back a month or two ago, I can't remember when, but Rishi Sunak sort of pushed the the zero emission vehicles to 2035 but he didn't really did he <laughs> because um 80 percent by 2030 i mean that's quite a lot isn't it now they can get away with it they can pay a fine um if they don't reach the the targets each year they can pay a fine or they can get credits off other car companies now it's not just cars it's also vans and vans start at 10 percent so that's going to be a slower it's starting at a lower um, percentage for vans. So it's 10% starting in 2024 for zero emission vehicles. This is in the UK, mine, right? I've got to stress it's in the UK. And the fines are going to be this. Um, £15,000 for every car that's sold under the 22%. That's what it starts off at, at. And it'll be, I think, let me just check. And it's £18,000 per van. So... That's if they fall short of their quota. Now they can get, I think they can get credits from other car companies. So if a car company sells 30% zero emission vehicles, they can nick some credits off them. If they don't, they gotta pay fines. Um, so if they, if they didn't sell any um, electric vehicles, well, not just electric vehicles, just it means zero emissions vehicles. So it could be hydrogen as well, or if they come up with something new in the next couple of, couple of weeks. <laughs> but, um, so they got to pay fines if they don't reach the 22%. Now, Tesla, for instance, is 100% uh, zero emission vehicles. So they can get credits. Tesla will get credits and they can give them to uh, the car companies or the car companies can buy them off them. I think something like that. That's how it works anyway. So is that going to be enough to push electric vehicles to be sold faster? Because um, I think personally, it's going to be hard for car manufacturers, not all car manufacturers, but some. I think MG might be all right, and Tesla's obviously going to be okay. Um, but I think other car manufacturers might struggle to get to hit that 22%. So you might see some sort of hard-hitting sales tactics trying to get to the 22%. I'm not quite sure, because I'll do another video after this one about the decline in electric vehicles uh, sales. So if you stick around, well, don't stick around. Just go and have a cup of tea. Do whatever you want. Come back whenever you want. <laughs> but I am going to make another video after this one about the decline in electric vehicle sales and why I think that is. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo!
Shallow one, my give no praise unto Abashim and Shabashim of Kodash. Double honest unto the apostles of uh, Great Millstone and uh, honest your brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And above everybody, are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim of Kodash. Give no praise unto Abashim and Shabashim of Kodash. Right, so this is this is going to be an in transit style video and it's going to be based on a few clips that you know i don't know which clips i'm going to use just yet but as i was as i was at work earlier today you know you know with the working from home thing <coughs> i was um i was watching some material that i thought you know it might be good to do, to do some videos on this a little bit later on and so i'll 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 chop those videos chop those videos at the at the beginning of the the edification at the back end of the edification to to bolster up what we're seeing here within the uk as of january 2024 and uh pretty much um yeah the, the the whole thing of having a car out here yeah that's that's done okay that's 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 done uh for all intents and purposes they've they already, they already signed the paperwork and they did it so subtle and so so man it was it was beautiful because I didn't even see it and you know I kind of keep up on this type of stuff because I grew up on the days of uh, Top Gear out uh, here within the UK which is a very popular British uh, TV program and you watch Top Gear when you're younger you know when you get older it's like you want to be a, a car journalist <laughs> that's why you got all of these YouTube videos going into cars because it's something that's mildly at attainable and obviously there's a emotional aspect of cars so you can watch it for entertainment and there's loads of YouTube videos that I watch that either are going to the technical advancements, the technological advancements of, of, of a combustion engine, suspension, all kind of crazy things that that people come up with to make a to make um the modern day horse and buggy, which is a car. And that's that's where you get the word car from, to make it more um, comfortable and efficient and more powerful, whatever the situation may be. So I do kind of stay up on that type of information. You can definitely see there's a big move towards the EV thing, but really I didn't understand the legislation that the UK because I didn't know it, right? I didn't know it. Not keep up on this stuff, but I didn't even know it. So I didn't really know what was happening. Um and, and I suppose that's how they that's how they designed it because this guy, uh, Rishi, which has which he's just a puppet for the elites. All right, and London is one of them free frogs that the scriptures speak about. So a lot of movement happens out here within the UK. Um, and they, remember, the apostle said that the, the brothers out here within the UK, he said we we, we gonna catch the hell first. That the MLTB is gonna be set up here first, and I, and I can kind of see that. You know, I can kind of see that. Right, especially with this example, out there within America, you can still get a V8, man. You can't even get you can't even most of the cars out here within the UK is like a one liter thing. And that's by design. That's what you call built-in obsolescence. Whereas, you know, back in the day, you can get like a like a V8, and the thing runs for like 200, 200,000 miles. Pass that down, pass that car down. And a lot of people did that back in the day. Back in the days of when Toyota moved into the into into the American market, and they bought a car out there. I think it was a Lexus ES or IS, the first car that they had, and the thing just ran, ran and ran and ran and ran. Okay, we just ran, ran and ran and ran, but. Obviously, there's an agenda, and this is what we're going to be speaking about today. I'm going to link it up with the scriptures to the best of my ability. So, the legislation that they brought in, I think it was about September, September 2023, they pretty much said they was going to move the electric adoption back to, to 2035. That's what Sunak said, right? But what they didn't really publicize was the ZEV laws, okay, which is zero emissions vehicles law, which pretty much says, and I'm gonna explain it to the best of my ability, but the clips at the beginning, they're gonna do a better job than I can, but pretty much says, all of these companies that you have out here, they have to have percentage of their fleet sold, not, not, not brought to market, but sold, not manufactured, but sold, has to be 20, 20%, 22% as of, 2024 which you got to think about it right when you you got what's known as lead time in manufacturing and when you're dealing with the development of cars you're dealing with, a, with the ve development of, 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 of a vehicle you could have about 10 years worth of development 
Okay, it takes about you could take about ten years, even longer, with certain cars, right? When they brought out that Lexus, Lexus, um, the the sweet one with a with a with a, with a V twelve, right? When they brought that one out, I think it took them about ten years to develop that. So what manufacturer is gonna develop or have it to where twenty two percent of their fleet is gonna be electric, not hybrid electric, but fully electric? Winning six months, six, seven months. Nobody's able to turn around like that, okay? So, I'm gonna start speaking about the implications of that. And, and again, you're gonna see it at the beginning of the videos, you're gonna see the guys explain it, they're gonna go into it. But where you're gonna find where you're gonna find is because a lot of these manufacturers can't meet those targets, they're gonna be leaving the UK. That's what I'm think that's what that's that's what seems obvious for me to you know for me to say. Okay, I believe that a lot of these manufacturers that you see out here that have been the mainstay of the British British roads are, are gonna leave the market because it's impossible to meet these targets. So check this out, right? So if you're all Mr. Toyota and you gotta send 100,000 100, cars to the UK in 2024 and 22% of those are gonna be electric, well, what model are you gonna sell? They got one model, okay? They got one model. Honda, they got one model, okay? Which accounts for about one percent of their sales out here, within maybe even less than one percent. I mean, you know, I'm just I'm just guessing off the top of my head because there's a lot of Honda cars and a lot of Toyota cars sold out here. Not a whole bunch of electric vehicles that are sold out here within the UK. So check this out: for every car that the manufacturer sells, and again, you know, I might slip up on my tongue here and there. You'll see at the beginning of the video with the, with the greater details just how that's how just how deep this thing goes, right? So for every car that the manufacturer sells. That doesn't meet the target the uk wants a, a penalty of eighteen thousand pounds per car right now if you're mr jaguar land rover and you got to increase your prices from 100 grand to 120 grand that's nothing people are going to pay that money for that prestige but for the layman okay and that includes vans too right it works a little bit differently for vans but it includes vans too <clears throat> right so you got to pay you got to pay all that money if you're a manufacturer but Damn near the money, that's damn near the, the price you charge for the car, but you gotta pay the 18,000 pound fine, right? And again, like I said, it's a little bit different. The percentage is a little bit differently when you're working with vans, right? So, so what's gonna happen? A lot of these manufacturers that don't have no electric lineup, which ramping up production to 22% for every manufacturer, that's not gonna happen, man. That's not how production works. That's just not gonna happen. A lot of these, a lot of these car companies, it's my belief, that they're gonna leave the UK market, okay? Unless they are make unless they make amendments to this law, it's my belief they're gonna leave the they're gonna leave the UK market. I don't know who's gonna be. They, they ain't gonna be no cars within the UK, <laughs> unless it be a, a used one, okay? They ain't gonna be no brand new cars as pretty much as of the next couple of years, right? The, the, the day of the brand new cars is it, pretty much done based on based on that paperwork that they just released. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen, man. But again, like I said, these guys out here. Um, that at the beginning of the video, they're gonna explain the video a bit better. They're gonna explain the information a bit better than I can. But when you go into the, when you go into what's going on out here, man, man, this 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 whole car market out here within the UK is is done, It's done. And and really, that was by design, okay? Really, that's that's by design because you got to understand, there's a reason why they're telling you that, okay? There's there's a reason why they, they set it up like that because remember, what's the what's the goal? Right, the goal is to, to make it to where you have nothing and you're supposed to be happy with that. Okay, the goal is not to, for you to be able to move around and have something. Would you need a car for in a 15 minute city? Okay, that's the goal. And man, with the way they, they snuck this up, I, I missed it and I and I stay up on this stuff, man. I had to do some research and I realized, hold on a minute, they got some they got some shit coming down the pipeline, man. They got some shit that's got some some grave implications for the business, for the businessman out there, okay, the mom and pop store. That sell, I don't know, <laughs> candles or some shit, right? The mom and pop stores, that's pretty much done. Cause you're not man, who's paying who's paying eighteen thousand pounds over MSRP, right? So you can have a regular car. That's 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 just it's done. Okay, it's done. So let me read the scripture here, the book of Revelation is thirteen and sixteen. He says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand that no man shall buy or sell save you have the mark. Right, so you ain't gonna be able to move out here within this city, say if you have the Kragma. So the few cars that they have out here that you're gonna be leasing, you're gonna be using the CHIP in order to get those particular cars, man. Okay? 
And the whole, you think about how the whole economy is based upon the middle class and how the middle class is able to maneuver with their vans, right? With their work vans and all this, that, and the third. That's a thing of the past, man. You can forget about that. Delivery drivers, you can forget about that. Okay. The ability for you to be able to go to a, a store, you know, stuff's going to be brought in. Unless it's like a Walmart or something, which that's that's what they're aiming for. That's what's going to happen. You're going to only have one chain, Walmart or Asda, and that's it. That's it. Everybody else is going to have nothing, and you're supposed to be happy with that. And they, they put the paperwork for that, man. So anyways, hopefully that's off edification. Hopefully when you see the videos um, from these other guys, they're going to explain it in great detail, and you can see that there's, there's, really, there's only really one outcome that, that I can see, right, as a guy that's, you know, works, works in a, you know, I, I don't want to put my business out there, but quote unquote works in the vehicle industry there's only there's only one way that i can see this going down really unless it's amended or, or there's some loophole i can't see and that's within two three years a lot of these manufacturers they're pulling out the uk market man and where are you gonna buy a car from and the cars that remain you know what they, you know what i think you know what i found out well a lot of these cars that they, that they got out here the ones that you see you think you're thinking to yourself you can get a second hand car well guess what they'll just they, they'll just amend the insurance to where it's impossible for you to be able to afford that <laughs> that's what's happening out here man they've showed you over the last couple of years that they could change the insurance in a year and now the car is unaffordable to run look what happened with the range rover thing out here within within london and, and car, car insurance across the board has gone up it's all gone up anyways that's the video with that myself praise the abashim asher abashim on double honors unto the apostles of great millstone honestly brothers that we push in this truth in sincerity shalom